Now in this tutorial, I'm going to go over a, um, a little bit more, and I'm going to tell you something real quick. Now, remember how you saw how we said this? This is like a symbolic representation of data, like I said. Position and data, we define bytes. Well, there's actually a shorthand of this. If we take away the colon and then the new line like that. This is shorthand. It will, it's, this will do the same thing as this. It's like a little shorthand version. Now, another thing I want to tell you is remember our jumps, we jump to positions and data? Well, we can write things here and jump to it as well. I want to tell you one thing though. Remember how we've been using for a while now int 21 and int 20? Well, we're never going to use these again. I'm, or, well, I'm never going to use them again for now, anyways. Yes, I loaded up MS Paint just to scribble them out. Um, we're not going to use int 21 anymore or int 20. The reason is because you know int 21, how it like we display strings with it, all that fancy stuff. Well, int 21 won't run by itself when we're using an operating system. If we're because we're going to be start coding our own 16-bit operating system in later tutorials, and if we use n21, n21 won't work. So um, and also n20, we're not going to be using this anymore. Or uh, we're going to be using it for now, but not when we code our operating system. Because what's the point of ending your code on an operating system? What does that do? All that does is lock, crash your operating system, lock it up. If your code just tries to end, that makes no sense. So we're not going to be using this on an operating system. I'm not going to be using um, this anymore. Int 21. I'm going to be using Int 21 and Int 20 for a little while. But when we start going to use our operating system, we're going to not use these. So I'm going to show you some ways around it. See how we displayed our string right here? Well, I'm going to show you another way to display our string. We're going to, you know, Bob, Joe, remember I said this is shorthand, let's just change it to message. And I've also heard the D means declare. Oh, I said this means define bytes. I've heard the D also means declare bytes. So, again, remember how I said, um, you'll, when you like to find bytes at a position in data, it can override your codes. Same thing in this assembler. So we want to always define our bytes at, like at an open point in our code or at the bottom, near the bottom like this. So here's our way. We're going to you make a position in data. And we're, let's name. These are called labels, by the way. I think I've said it already. Uh, something in the colon. We're going to name this. Let's say print string. Just simply print string. Remember how calls, you use it to jump somewhere temporarily? Well, this is going to be pretty important. So what I'm going to do, my command is going to be mob si message call print string. And so remember how load sb, let's put a tab. The reason I'm putting tabs is just because it looks nice. There's really no other reason, if you were wondering. Um, load sb. Remember how that loads the first byte of the what's in SI, and then the next every time you call it again, it loads the next byte and the next byte, blah blah blah. Well, that's what we're going to be doing. Now we're going to compare it with the and it sends the byte to the AL register. I've made a whole tutorial on this. You should know what I'm talking about. And we're going to compare it to 24H. This is the hex value of 24, the dollar sign character. And now if it's equal to that, we're going to jump. I like to use EOF. That means end of file. That's used a lot in like C++ and stuff. This isn't it, but this isn't like the same thing at all. So I'll just create a new level label print string. Then I like to just name it underscore EOF. And that's how I end it. Print string EOF. And in this label I'm going to say return. Now and so if it's not equal to it, it's going to just continue the code. Mob AH 0 E H. Remember 0 E is for displaying a character in how how 0 E displays the character in AL and then 0 2 displays the character in 
D um, DL. Well, so since load SB is already defined AL, we can just say int 10H and now jump print string. So now we're stuck in an endless loop until one of the um, until the one of the bytes is equal to 24 hex, and then when it is, it's going to jump to this place, and this is just going to say return, and return is going to go all the way back up, and just it's going to pull back on the string, and now our code is going to continue on. So right here is kind of like our um, we kind of made this is like our our way of not using int 21 or int of not using int 21 to display a string. All I used was int um int 10. I know I'm still using n21 here to pause it, but that's just examples. So let's run this. And now look. Hello world. And then we can be like message message two define bytes. Press any key to continue. And maybe right here I can write comma zero d h zero a h. Um, again, like I said, you want everything that all the numbers we used in um, the debug put an H up in because those are all hex, and H just tells us that the number is a hex. Now, if you put a D, like I said, that's a decimal. Well, those having the ability to make a decimal is very useful. So now we can say like mob si message 2 call print string let's run this hello world press Nikki to continue didn't it start a new line cuz it just cuz of what, what happened it's not really that big of a deal though um, but my whole point is we can just use something simple like this and create this little thing and what we just did is this, we can display a string without using the integer 21 because you know integer 21 you have like mob ah09 to display a string with integer 21 or not why do I keep on saying integer it's interrupt 21 um, 2 to display a character and some other useful ones, but like I said, we're not going to be using that anymore. 